Leckengreg Vegan Camp, the 31st of December 2019. Seven thirty in the morning. December has been great for papayas, and also we had a good storm, a couple of good storms in the north, so the sky is quite clear. Cleared the sky a bit, so it's quite nice. It's lime season, so we have limes here in the garden, and also from the neighboring gardens. To have unlimited limes is also very nice. Like a lot of lime. A lot of bananas, a lot of papayas, it's really great. So even like if you come in the, in the winter months, it's, it's really, people enjoy it anyway. We had a lot of passion fruit, uh, unexpectedly actually. We couldn't eat it, so we needed to make a lot of smoothies with passion fruit. And the guavas, guavas are coming. And also this one is already being eaten by birds. Need to tell Fabian. Drying the pumpkin seeds for the next season. Harvested some of the, the sugar cane here because it broke. Sugar cane is quite sweet and tasty. The orange jackfruit is having some jackfruits. Maybe these will turn bigger? I don't know. Oh, this one already falling off. Still good amounts of passion fruit and also pomelos. We don't grow pomelos here, but uh, it's easy to, to get and they're very inexpensive. So it, when it's citrus fruit season, there's pomelos and other lime fruits and including lemons and stuff. It's really nice. And these are the macroot lime. And the, you also use the leaves from these for curries and other niceness, like washing clothes. A lot of fresh washing nuts, new tomato plants, solar panel for the one of the huts. Today we're saying goodbye to Mato. He was volunteering for eight days and then he stayed here for five days. This hut is inhabited by Fabian, who's currently volunteering, and picking some bananas from the net right now. What, what do you want to share with the world? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> the outdoor shower is completed. Powder post beetles were already starting to eat the bamboo here. So if you use a blowtorch and heat up the the wood and burn it like surface burn it, it will be much stronger to against like water when it when the rain season comes and also the eggs inside will 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 be destroyed and also the bugs that eat the the wood will will die. I guess it's much better than paint. Old school door. Fabian and Matto made this training rack. Fabian will demonstrate how to use it in a while. Dehydrator is finished. I mean, I'm some. I will probably need to make some cover in some areas, but otherwise, we. I just had the first batch of dried bananas, and they were like the best. Ben dried dehydrated bananas I've ever had in my life. I also used some great bananas and when when you dry it slowly without like direct sunlight or any overheating it's, it's they become really really nice. So here are the opening and then we have some bananas already drying so it will take maybe 10 days <laughs> because it's quite cold right now and yeah and and I could probably make these pipes that collect the heat and push it through here I could probably make this better or even more pipes that would also probably increase the the flow of air and reduce the time of drying but for now this is fine. Dried bananas are amazing for for cycling trips. So you have it just like in a small package in the back pockets of your jersey and then you just whew, it's so good. It's so so nice and sweet and everything.
Usually you will be able to see the mountains in the background here, but not anymore. The smoke season started <clears throat> quite early this year. We haven't had rain for a couple of months now, so it's like, it gets bad when, when that happens. So this pumpkin already died. I mean, it has been so dry, we planted a ton of pumpkin here. But we harvested zero. It's so crazy. Luckily, from the family gardens, there were some pumpkin for us. That was really, really nice and good. They still are really good and nice. For the pumpkin curries, the pumpkin pineapple curry, yeah, just steamed pumpkin. As Casper, my brother said, like when the pumpkin tastes like like cake, then it's really, really nice. It sure is. Creamy, sweet, with texture and so nice. If the mango tree borers don't get to the trees, it looks like that we will have a, a lot of mango this year because the flowers are doing really, really well right now. These bamboo are for building material. Sweet corn is coming up. Among the asparagus, small plants of, of salad. Rick has a lot of projects, growing projects. This is a radish. When Lek wants something, wants something to eat, she will plant it and then she will eat it. That's cool. Fresh tomatoes from the plant. So cool and nice. And they're like completely bug free during the, the dry season. I'm not sure why. But when we, when we grow these in the wet season, they will be filled with worms. It's really strange. Are you enjoying the papayas? This one, maybe not. <laughs> but the other ones are very delicious. The microgreens, these are the sunflower sprouts, which are delicious for salads and also in like, just frying them on a, on a pan with water and some seasoning. Also when picking some rocks to use for various projects, including the the shower, outdoor shower. I harvested some bamboo from Lex sister, not real sister house. So thank you, si not real sister. <laughs> and also like the thin bamboo, also good for the various garden projects. And the hibiscus lemongrass galangal root tea with, uh, with lime is very very nice also. These are always so nice to watch, the small jackfruits. We enjoy the karaoke during uh, these um, end of the year. There's like a lot of Thai music and karaoke so if you don't like that you should maybe skip like Greg vegan camp during this time <laughs> and then come after New Year and before Christmas or something like that. But of course you're welcome during Christmas and New Year anyway. The spa area and also resting area. I like to have the sun enough is not Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mato. Okay. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye, Fabian. <laughs> so, Mato is walking to the bus station. Like, some people do that, and it's actually not a. Uh, it's like 2.5 kilometers from here. So, it's a, a nice little walk to the bus station. I can recommend it. Sometimes it's a good idea to have a, maybe a little bit like a stick just to like if there is a dog or something, then it's nice to have a stick.